as health care providers, you know that thrombosis is the common disorder that is responsible for the top three causes of cardiovascular death worldwide, acute coronary syndromes, stroke, and venous thromboembolism, or VTE. Yet many of these deaths are preventable. Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Raskob. I'm here on behalf of organizations and individuals all across the world who want to raise awareness about this important public health issue. To that end, October 13, 2014 marks the inaugural World Thrombosis Day. Led by the International Society on Thrombosis and Hemostasis, with oversight by renowned medical and public health experts, World Thrombosis Day is an educational initiative with the goal of reducing the significant disease burden caused by thrombosis. And it is professionals like you who will help us achieve that goal. Venous thromboembolism, which includes deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, and pulmonary embolism, or PE, kills millions of people worldwide each year. In Europe alone, more than twice as many people die from VTE than die from breast cancer, prostate cancer, AIDS, and motor vehicle crashes combined. 543,000 deaths a year in the European Union. That's equivalent to losing every passenger on 86 jumbo jets each and every month. We want to change that. Together, as healthcare and public health professionals working hand in hand, we have the ability to reduce the toll of this deadly disorder. That is what World Thrombosis Day is about. It's about starting an urgent conversation with healthcare providers, public health professionals, and the public to raise awareness, better identify patients who are at high risk, and to take action to reduce the risk. We know that VTE can happen to anyone at any age. Some people have no warning signs or symptoms, but we also know that there are risk factors, warning signs, and situations that can provoke the development of VTE. The three major risk factors are, one, hospital admission. Hospitalization leads to two out of every three cases of VTE, and VTE is the leading cause of preventable hospital deaths. Two, surgery, especially major surgery such as hip and knee replacement, major trauma, and surgery for cancer. And three, immobility, especially if prolonged. Additional risk factors include increasing age, especially over 65 years of age, medical illnesses like cancer, stroke, heart failure, or chronic lung disease, the presence of antiphospholipid antibodies, oral contraceptives and other estrogen-containing medications, pregnancy, and the postpartum period. There are also inherited risk factors that we really can't change, but which we can be aware of. These include a family history of thrombosis and gene mutations such as the factor V Leiden, prothrombin gene, protein C deficiency, protein S deficiency, and antithrombin 3 deficiency. By being better aware of these risks, providers can formulate an action plan for the prevention of VTE. For our first annual World Thrombosis Day on October 13th, we are asking all health care providers to go to worldthrombosisday.org and join us in this effort. The website provides helpful information for you, your colleagues, and your patients. We have downloadable materials like a fact sheet to post and share with patients, a checklist to assess risk, a complete how-to awareness toolkit, flyers, posters, and more, and even tips to encourage media coverage. It's all available free of charge to help you help us spread the word. Talk to your colleagues and other community organizations about hosting a World Thrombosis Day awareness event. World Thrombosis Day is one day, but educational activities are encouraged throughout the year. If you are already involved in activities related to thrombosis awareness, we encourage you to utilize the resources we are providing to complement and build on that presence. Our long-term goal is consistent with the goal of major cardiovascular disease organizations worldwide to reduce cardiovascular mortality by 25% by the year 2025. In the case of thrombosis, this means, one, increasing the implementation of evidence-based prevention, two, encouraging healthcare systems to implement strategies to ensure best practices for prevention, diagnosis, and treatment, three, reducing the number of undiagnosed or misdiagnosed cases, and four, advocating for resources for these efforts and for research to reduce the disease burden from VTE. We hope that you will join us in this important effort. Know the facts about thrombosis, spread the word, and help reduce the burden from thrombosis. Together, we can save lives in your community and throughout the world. To learn more, please visit the World Thrombosis Day website at worldthrombosisday.org.